What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yamo. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting down right now. And you're probably wondering why isn't this the SneakerCon Boston video? It's for a few reasons, but uh, let's just insert this clip from last night at the airport to give you guys a brief look at what happened. <laughs> hey, ask him if you should Hey, go. say what's up to the YouTube. Yo, Common Hype's coming to LA. Common Hype's <laughs> coming to LA. It wasn't what we drew up, but it's gonna be a movie. All right, well, I'm gonna text you in like 20 minutes. We're gonna figure it out, all right? All right, whatever you need, just it's done. Just tell me what you need. A uh, massage, set, <laughs> breakfast, a hotel. Uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I DJ? Can I DJ half the event? See, this is why we love New York Got Soul. Or Got Soul. Yep, we're good. Uh, I'll text you in 20 minutes and tell you what time we're going to be in. All right, fine. I'll see you in the morning. Later. Okay, that's how we make it happen. I think you should fly. I think we should fly too. The thing is, I want to buy pears. I know, the truck is not going to bring back pears, bro. You, you no, you're talking about it. You could you're put a U-Haul on it. Put a U -haul on no, you're talking about, you're talking about an hour flight you can have the time to pack up and ship everything it's cheap from california driving overnight isn't the i mean i know you guys are young and all, but it's not the safest like when thing I, to do so when i look back on it i want to think about the memories the time we got our flight canceled to boston and we got to drive with the boys in the truck i'd know? rather talk about the flight to la you could you can make stories by sleeping in the store tonight waking up at four and coming and getting your flight there's all kinds of great uh, do you want to cuddle next to the easy yeah, yeah i would love to actually next to my Woke we'll up like these 4,000. Right. Right. We'll just hope the ceiling give doesn't a rundown, start dripping though. They again. don't know what's happening. All right, yeah, let me give you the rundown. So for once, we didn't miss a flight. We for were once, actually... we booked it correctly. And for once, we were on time. And here we are. Yeah, thanks to Johnson and his son, Carter. Carter. There's about to be a mover, movie at SneakerCon Boston. And all of a sudden, we look up, and it said flight canceled. And we said something was going too good. Everything was everything was too there was smooth. No, there was no security line. Yeah, there was no security line. There was the no flight wait was there. We were on time. Yeah, we got we our bags checked in correctly. Early. Two hours early. We got water. We were enjoying ourselves. We were charging our phones, and here we are. And crap, it's a fan. Now we are in a debacle. We can't. We search every option, didn't we, Johnson? There's no every flights option. at Boston. Before if, he, 4 PM. if anyone can find Nothing. it, it's this yeah. guy. So no red anybody eyes. Anybody who's expecting us at Boston, I am so sorry. However, the good news is for anybody in LA that's going to Got Soul. Obviously, the title of this video. We'll be there. We don't know how. We don't know if we'll fly or drive, but we'll be there. I'll walk if I have to. And transition cool. us into this is going to be a vlog style. I don't even care anymore. We were going to do some intro. It's not even going to happen anymore. Vlog style type cash out today. Instead of a cash out, you do like a refund. <laughs> how to have lots of credit with American Airlines? Credit? Listen, so Southwest still tell me think me You think they're actually going to give you a refund? I bought insurance which says covers all cancellation policies. So if they don't refund me, yeah, look at me, extra 30 bucks per person. Pay it off. They'll find a way that your yeah. insurance yeah. does yeah. not yeah. cover. Some, somehow, some way it's my fault. Too. Listen, so, yeah. Johnson has TSA for life. He's a, he's a very, very valued traveler. I do have TSA. And he got, he went to TSA pre-check and they said, no, you'll go through the normal line. And that's when I knew it was going to go down. There's something maybe a little important. Our boxes are probably just sitting down there alone. By oh yeah, we should so probably, we probably get up. Get yeah. Anyways, Johnson's a platinum. Amex member, so the fact that he can't help us out right now, we're down. No bad. one can. Yeah. 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 Transition to whatever happens next. Yeah. I just can't help but think about how ridiculous last night was. Yeah. So let me explain kind of what happened last night. So you guys just saw we're in the airport. Everything was great. I mean, for once, I booked the right flight. Previously, I had booked two flights for Bryson. Um, so I actually, like, we had a flight. It was supposed to be myself, Bryson, and Drew. I accidentally booked Bryson's name twice on the ticket, so I had to buy an additional ticket for Andrew because I couldn't switch the names. So anyways, everything was finally going right. We're sitting in the airport in the terminal an hour before we're supposed to board. We all are just kind of looking at each other like things are going way too smooth right now. And sure as heck, we look up and uh, the terminal monitor says flight canceled to Boston. We ended up not being able to go. There was no flights or anything. We had canceled Boston, hit up the Got Soul boys and we're like, yo, we're going to come to LA. Like it's the same weekend. We'll take a flight or we're going to drive over there. So uh, that was the plan. And this was at 1130. Yeah. Instagram post here. Yeah. Instagram post here. We even posted that we're going to go. We had checked five big boxes to the flight to Boston. So we had to go retrieve those. We went to go retrieve them and it took them an hour and a half to retrieve the boxes. So at this point we had decided we wanted to go to the <laughs> three or four hours bro. okay two or two nap it was it was a long time because so 11 30 we go down to get our bags we didn't leave the airport until 2 30 in the morning 
And at that point, we're like, we were so amped and stoked to go to God Soul. We were about to just drive to LA, which is like a six hour drive. And by 2.30, we were just all exhausted and worn we didn't out. Go, from, we didn't get home till 3.30. Yeah, we had to go back home to repack because we repacked for Boston, which is like 40, 50 degrees over there, to go pack for LA, which is like 80 degrees. And by the time we got home, we were just so mentally drained that it just wasn't gonna work out. So um, we actually had this video of what we're gonna do right now with Johnson planned, um, and we're just expediting the process at this point. Johnson actually called me this morning. He's like, you wanna get on a flight to go to LA? Because we were kind of having FOMO of not going and uh, we decided not to go. We hope to see you guys hopefully at Kobe Swap Meets, uh, maybe some other events coming up. I don't know, SneakerCon Cleveland, people are hitting us up about. I don't know if we're gonna do it, maybe to make up for it, we haven't really decided yet. But regardless, we're here. And uh, how are we feeling, Johnson? Because he didn't get home till 2.30 either. I'm feeling a little tired. Yeah. Not only did we get home crazy late waiting for those boxes that appeared to be sitting in a room. Yeah, you missed you miss a lot of important details for, in that one. For hours. Wasn't until the door got opened and Carter looked in and was like, those are our boxes right there. And she's like, oh, <laughs> like, and you know when you something happens like that and you're like, there's no way the timing is that perfect that they just brought those boxes up and we just happened to see them. Yeah. So we, we really felt like those were sitting there for a long time, which yeah. did not help the situation. Right. My van almost ran out of gas because I, I kept I kept it running on the right. on the curb. Yeah. Anyway, sorry uh, for the long intro, but here we are. All right, so Johnson actually came in here to buy just some shoes from Johnson the other day and all these pairs were laid out. And I was asking him why they're laid out. He said, these are personals that I'm looking to get rid of. And he said he was gonna sell on apps or whatever. And I was like, hold on, I might want some of it for myself in the store. And I thought it'd be a kind of a funny video so you guys can see the negotiation process with Johnson and I which is always pretty comedical or comic comical <laughs> <laughs> which is always pretty comical most of these are size 10 and a half 11 yeah, yeah, yeah 11 his personal stuff um, as you guys can see he has so many shoes that he's trying to rinse and repeat out so we'll see what we can negotiate on well Carter pulled Carter pulled them yeah and then I'm looking through them and I'm like we we ain't selling that we're not selling that and so then he started calling me a hoarder, which maybe I am, but I don't think so. I just want a couple of these to stay in the collection. I might want to tow them. He put some great shoes he out here. He put a couple that, that, that I are definitely. With. Like these, these need to go. Those are go. Yeah, those, those are. should have never came. They should have never even came. <laughs> but the ones right next to them don't have to go. The, the clivers? Yeah, those need to go. Yeah, these can go. Those can but go. like these need to stay. Yeah. I already pulled the wolf grays. Yeah, those could stay. No, we'll, we'll get through it right I, now. I don't seem to pull out a lot of like all, mostly black shoes, so I can um, see you getting rid of like the Jordan, like some Jordan One Lows and like yeah. some of your mids and stuff. But like your OG SBs, I wouldn't. Get, I wouldn't. Some get of them those. I'm not going to. And you guys might think like, oh, you know, collector get. And you know, at some point, you know, there's all these new shoes, and there's some older, more valuable shoes that I would love to add to the collection. And so, in order to do that, as ridiculous as it may sound, you know, I'm restricted <laughs> to the size of the room, and and yeah, it's and, a tiny room. And, and it's, it's a good idea see. to get rid of some stuff so that it, there's spaces that in, you know gets me excited about filling it up with something cool. So, see, which is the whole fun part of the process, I think. To be clear, he's not getting out of sneakers because he's selling pairs. Yeah, what, what, yeah. Just re-upping. No, I'm, yeah. I'm getting out of sneakers. Just a re-up, you know? Yeah. Today's the day. Yeah. Today's the day. I quit. I quit. <laughs> I'm about to start going through it, shall Let's we? Let's go. All right, uh, let's start off with these. I'm good. <laughs> these, I'm, uh, I think I'm okay. Yeah. Um, yep, I sure as heck know. Well, this is gonna go quickly. Yeah. What's these happening? Great here. video so far. These. These are cool. You don't see these every day. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting rid of those. <laughs> so then, why are they over here? We just went over. I just went over this. I went. I went through the first 20 pairs. There were four pairs I wanted to pull out. So I got in. Started getting in an argument with Carter. You, you pulled them out. I'm putting some back in. This isn't an argument. This is. I'm putting them back in. So then I'm like, well, I'll just put them back in at a later date. And that later date hasn't happened yet. How much? Uh, it does gotta be like 200 bucks. Alright. Moving on. So that was a no on the pollens? Yeah, no on the pollens. Alright. Mm. How much? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you don't care? Well. Five dollars on it? The only pair you're gonna buy today. This is gonna be a great video. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what did you call it again? 
like aces or something. Crimson tit lows. Yeah. This is an interesting one. 135? Yeah, cool. I'll take them. Who's writing this down? Uh, Drew is. I'll do it, okay. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Long, long night? Yeah. A little tired. Yeah, I'm surprised you want to get rid of these. I'm surprised too. These are a nice casual like. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep those for now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like a, that's like the OG. Is that it is the OG one like a neutral gray, but this right here is like is like a harder tongue that press presses up against the ankle. Yeah. Okay. But is, yeah, I'm a fan though. You're not you're not gonna Christmas tents. You don't think you can sell? No, I don't. You're really helpful right now, Drew. Um, Jim Red Lowe's. This is a good shoe for us. Way back in the day. Someone say the first hard kick. Yeah. How much? I have no idea. Ooh, ooh, maybe it's worth more than I thought. Yeah, these gone up. 185. Awesome. I'll take it. So, uh, black and white dunk. Oh, You're just gonna skip right over the. Yeah, no, we're not even gonna hit the violets. I'm good on the those. black and white dunk. Uh huh. Uh, 300. <laughs> yeah, put them back in the box. All right, moving on. That's a 10 and a half, by the way. Why don't you check your little thingy you're looking at? No, yeah, I'm good. I'm good at 300. You're out of 10 and a half, by the way. Yeah, I'm good at 300. 300. No shot. Four. Size You didn't, you didn't even 11. do a counter offer. I know what you want for your black and white dunks. We sell for You didn't four. even counter. It's 10 and a half? Yeah, you didn't even counter. 260. Oh my gosh. 260. Just you shake your head up. You're in my home. <laughs> this isn't your store. I didn't bring the shoe to your counter and be like, ooh, please, you're in my home and you just offered me 260. Great. Where could you buy a 10 and a half black and white dunk for 260? Just buy that for 265. 265. So, so you, you disrespect you, me. You ju I just said I don't want it. You said offer me. Here's my offer, okay. 260. What do you got for those? What do I got for him? I don't know. Five dollars. How much do you want? Yeah, two fifty-five. Hmm. We'll put this in the maybe pile. So and only because it's it's kind of a I know. it's but an expensive Jordan get. one low. You know? Yeah, I agree. That's, I'm gonna get two fifty-five for him. Uh, core purple. This was a good one for us for a while too. We used to sell a good amount of lows. One seventy-five. I don't do fives. One seventy. No. One eighty. You don't do fives. Why do we gotta go down? And 175 rounds up to 180 every single time. I don't think so. 17.5 goes to 18. Okay, put them down there. 180. <laughs> okay. Cobalt. You don't wait. You're not getting them. He's not getting them. Is that unbelievable? Over you see $10? What I'm Can... No, over $5. It was over 5 Someone else with the camera. Let me get some deals done with you, Johnson. It's a 10 and a half. You don't have to look. No, that's a different one. I'd send that to consignment. 225. I'd give you 210. I'd give it to you at 230 now. I don't, I... 210 isn't yeah. even even fair. How's two, last those are 215, 215, 220. If I can go get, if okay, so if I can go get 230 for that pair, and all I have to do is wait two weeks, but you're here, you probably don't have that at your store. You could buy it, sell it for 300 bucks, and make some money, and you keep me from waiting for two weeks, and we just wasted a minute on this. Or you could take 210, and you don't have to wait two weeks at all. No, nope, I'll wait two weeks. All right, there it is. Okay, guys, let me let me explain to you. If you wait two weeks and make $20 on 210, that's 9% in two weeks. That's 18% for a month. For a year return on your money, that's like over 150%, almost 200% return on your money. Hold your prices. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know where you're buying this. Yeah, how much? They're still at the store. I'll die with them. Yeah, that, that, you know, 290. <laughs> those go for two. That's what I'm saying. I know, I'm gonna Let's... get I'm gonna get two ninety five for those. I'm gonna stock X mine. Just leave them. Let me let me, no let me get my, I'll get two ninety five three hundred. Save both yourselves. Okay. I was gonna give you two eighty. No, I wouldn't have taken it. Okay. <laughs> um the free ninety nine uh, This is a great video. Yeah. yeah this is yeah. If, this is gonna be fun to edit. The two ninety nine or the free ninety nine no good. The Turk and Duncan just I know. Yeah. Cliver, I mean, I love the Clivers. I think it's a great shoe, but I would never wear it. It's set. Uh, I had a pair just, that I had a pair that sat at consignment forever. Right. Forever. It's a good I shoe. still have one at consignment that's been sitting forever. It's one of my favorite shoes. Really, Drew? So I'm a big fan of the Strange Loves. And that's like a like yeah, the fair enough. sister. I'm a big fan. They're just they're kind of hard I could to never wear them, but I just I don't like the gold swoosh. Um what? yeah. You're not a fan? Like it's the like, metallic mirror, mirror gold. I, I don't. The insole and then the snowflake though really gets me. 
on the front. The artistic so value. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. yeah. This is this is a uh, uh, you don't see this one that often. The Celadons. Yeah, we've we've had a couple in store. You yeah. have. That's not bad. Uh, what size are these? Eleven. Oh, uh, they should be in eleven. Yeah, eleven. What are you thinking on these? Two, two twenty. Yeah. Fair. Wow. Oh, wow, it's the third one. Wow. Look, you know. I can't believe that you just paid two twenty for something that's going to sit on your shelf forever when you could pay two. Three hundred okay. for black and white Duncan Solo. Okay, so hey, why make money when you can lose it? That's when right. you can hold it forever. Uh, what did we decide with these? Have you decided if you want to keep these yet? Uh, I'll sell that first one. These? Yep. These uh, are tough. Yeah, it's just that black toe box. It's a black toe box. It I, is. Don't, I won't pull that out and wear it. I, I agree. I love the, the pink uh, you like the crimson. Uh, accents. These, these are. This reminds I was going to ask what you're selling. Oh, wait, wait, should I say Go. I like those. It, the, I do too. Those black and pinks are like black Air Force activity, but like you're soft on the inside, you know? It's like a little bit of pink, just like a little soft. Oh. But there's like some black Air Force activity. Yeah. yeah. So, Bryson, here's an example. This shoe right here, before it dropped in the US, was sitting at about 160 about a month before release. You could have bought these for 160 all day long and sold them as a pre-release. $200 shoe now. Yeah, I was gonna say like 200. Here's the powerful thing about business or anything. You can share strategic things all day long. People can sit down and take notes, they can listen to it. The percentage of people that actually go and execute on it and actually do something on it is so minimal. It's not, you don't put yourself at risk and that is the the opportunity that businessmen don't take all the time. They can go find information, they can go execute on it and differentiate themselves if they just go do something. The crazy thing is, is that you go share something like this and, and people don't do anything about it. There'll be very few people that actually go do something about it, which is crazy to me, but it's the facts. It's no different than in our distribution business. I would walk competitors through my business and show them the things we do, the high level things that differentiate us. At the end of the day, you know what it does to most competitors? Frustrates them because they can't do it and they don't know how to do it. They don't know the team to execute it. They don't know how to go about it. And at the end of the day, what it does is it frustrates most competitors because they can't do what you're doing. So I, some, I just feel like sometimes sharing information, we get more nervous about sharing information than we should. Even if it's early, someone would have to go find it, execute it and buy it, realizing the research and stuff, knowing that, hey, you know, buying a $150 dunk, being that this is similar to like a Michigan or whatever, but a little mm -hmm. bit better than the Michigan, mm -hmm. right? Or neutral color. Knowing that this is gonna be a $200 shoe when it hits the US and Nike app releases it, that's information some of your viewers need to, need to know just in general about analyzing and about researching and having the knowledge before they go out and buy stuff. Yeah, but just as much as they were from 160 to two, they could have gone from 160 to 130. So, yeah, you're right. You I, 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 research on I definitely shoe. agree right. with that, right? So it's not, not like... Not a specific shoe, but just any shoe just in general, you know? Yeah, well, you I have to... Buy fast. Like when you buy when you buy early pairs, like two, like Cool Grey 11s right now, you go buy for, you know, 420, 450. Well, they, you know, they could tank to 330, 325 right now, especially if you're not able to get rid of them right away. Well, that goes... stuck with and hold them, right? I agree. So yeah. it goes back to the research. And we talked about it last night about the Cool Greys and stuff. Well, we'll just go back and look at the Jordan 11 breads. Dude, look at you right now too you know and jubilee so the so yeah it's not gonna they're not gonna stay at 400 they're gonna get get under 300 and we talked about how how it could do because you look at the 11 breads quote unquote tanked in february be, because yeah february and march of 2020 but then the pandemic hit so were people offloading 11 breads because they didn't want to be holding pairs and stuff right. during the pandemic. Right. I don't know, but it sure looks like it did that. But those are the things we're talking about, about researching. Yeah, cool grades aren't going to stay at 470. Are you kidding me? Yeah, like 550 right now. But when there's a dunk at 150, right. you might want to take a, a look at it. Anyway, sorry. Do you want to hold the camera? So Bryce can get in this? Dude, my arms are on fire right now. All right, so we have Black Watch Coral, which I did not know that these were called. Um, how much? These have, these have shot up. Ooh. Do you remember how much you bought those for? Off the top of your head, right, James? Not that number. Yeah. No way I paid $400 for this. Oh, I can't wait to get into some, what you bought some of this stuff for. Some of these dunks I would have paid. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we we'll talk about it. Yeah, I would have paid like 200 bucks or yeah, something for this. Anyways, how much do you want? This is kind of a trick. Like, I'm going to need like 400 bucks for them. Four? Yeah. 
I give you 380. Okay. Nice. Right. So while he does that, fit check the boys real quick. Let them know, Johnson. Oh, simple. Uh, white shirt, Lululemon, black pants, and neutral grays. Mm -hmm. Dirty. Mm -hmm. I going to wear the airport fit. Right, it's my airport fit yesterday. It was fire. But I switched the shoes out. I got the St. John's on. I'm coming to Johnson, I had to wear some dunks. You guys know how it is. Uh, vintage championship bulls tee. Some essential sweats. I'll start at the piggies. I got my neutral grays that I wear at my boy's wedding. That's why they're all dirty right now. I got the Bound by Soul green cargos shorts. And then I've got the effing clothing Lakers tee. Um, all right, Johnson. Yo. Moving on. Where, where are these? These are tough. Infrareds. Yeah. You're actually selling those? Yeah, because he's never been a fan of those. Oh, the yeah, cloth uh, toe boxes. See, yeah. I, I think these are tough. Yeah, those are fine. Those are good. These are really nice. All right. You think much? that's a $300 shoe? I would assume it's a $300 shoe, yeah. How about $260? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. $260. Holy cow. We're getting some deals done. Blue Fury? Yeah, that's a. Uh... Those are a sitter. Are they? Mm hmm. Who cares? Ooh. Let, let me just sell it how I want to sell it, because I, I think I can get over 300 bucks. Okay. Put that down. I would pay you to wear these, dude. Uh, yes, you probably would, but not enough. No, no, definitely not enough. But I 260. would. 260. Yeah, uh, yeah, you'd have to pay me to take those. Okay. Sword pass. Yeah. What you talking about? OGP rows? Remember you said you were going to keep these? Mm -hmm. I think it's a nice shoe. You're, I'd keep those. Back and forth a little. I did too. Should I keep it? I would keep those. Look at the details on this. Hit him with the zoom, Drew. Can you see yeah, it? Those are nice. Yeah. The details are it's nuts. It's like the Gucci though. vibe. <laughs> yeah. I actually think All they right. got in trouble for this. Bury me in the Gucci store. Oh. What are we thinking? Keep them. Whoa! Keep them. What? Those one up? All right, that's up. Boom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're that type of guy. Keep those. I'm not that guy, but you're just not if that you guy, want pal. a pair right now you for under a thousand bucks, you're just you not can't that get guy. it. You're not selling those, Johnson. I'm keeping those. Yeah, you're not selling That's one I know. I'm surprised you get rid well, of Well, let's see how much you... Let's see. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. Oh, I am. These are tough. I know, you do like those. You like those, The but... gold kind of throws me off in the back. He'll tell me. Oh my goodness, these are worth nothing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. His Barcelona's? You can get those for cheap. This is only like 180. You can get these right for like 170. What? Bro, I'd wear those. Those are my size. They're, they're not the they're not 11. The... Alright, what are we thinking about? On these bad boys. Why is that only a... I don't know. Why is that so cheap? I don't know. There's some SBs that look good that are cheap. Yeah. Something to get my off-white lot done, guys. I've been looking. I love this cream. Cheap. Bro, you're going to tell me, though? Yeah. Like, between Wait, we these just... two, like, these are both t only $200 shoes. Yeah, Papa Bears are so cheap. These are nuts, dude. Yeah, I'm those are tough. I would definitely take Papa Bears. You just took Papa Bears out for me? No, I was just comparing these oh. two. Like, how are those both? Like, these are both great shoes. I think those are better, but... Barcelona's are tough. No, nah, Papa Bears are tough. No, Barcelona's are so much better. The brown and the Papa Bears are tough. I don't uh, like you selling these? Uh, it depends on. Uh, 360, we agreed. Can you believe it? It depends how much those are worth. Not a whole lot. It just hurts Johnson. me to see you sell your SVs. Like, that's, what that's what I'm saying. Do you, want, is. do you want. I feel like in 10 years, people are going to be like, that's going to be an expensive shoe. All right, we'll keep it for Drew. Hot take. So he sells it tomorrow. Yeah. These are interesting. They're just. They're really expensive right now. Are they really? Yeah. They oh, are. those are. Those these are, are up. Massive. Right way now. up. And it's hard to sell. Are those diamonds? What? Yeah, diamond. Yeah. The white ones are up on a pool. I'm not selling my, my white ones. These no. I've never been a fan of. Me neither. Yeah. And just like the bare bricks. Couldn't get into them. I do like the gray bottom. I do like that. But the fur and everything just doesn't do it. Um, you, I pass on those. We don't need them, but I would definitely get rid of those. Don't buy those. We've sold many of them. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, FTCs. Uh, I would take them. It's not really great. These came down a lot. We sold our first pair for like four fifty five in the store. When they first dropped, they were pretty high. Three twenty. I see. Uh -huh. Did you three ten? Sure. Wow. <laughs> Write that down. You want them? No. Oh. Really? You don't think they'd sell? No. I I don't know how I feel about those, man. I've always been. The truckets? Yeah. What are you talking about, Drew? Show them. I've no. always been on the fence on those. Yeesh. The truckets are fire. Mm. What are you talking? We have a size eleven at the store, though. I mean, that's a sleeper shoe. I I think it's a great yeah, shoe. Yeah, it's not. I, it, it, I do like the cream. I'm a sucker. Oh, it's your blue. I'm a sucker for sweet. Oh, it's your blue. Can they switch up the swoosh like that? I think yeah, no, no, I like it. I, I think you guys could sell that shoe for what for what they are. How much would I sell those for? Correct. 240. Yeah, like, I wouldn't pay that high. You wouldn't? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, okay. That's fine. All right, think about our SB yep. case right now, bro. Our SB case is it's actually empty, pretty bro. nut. Well, it's pretty nuts of what we have in this. It's case. nuts, but it's like empty. Dude, our blue lobster sold the other day. It's in the, uh, the Heineken's. Hey, no, dude. I, f I feel like we... Oh my goodness. Wow! I'm gonna, be able, up. I'm, I'm gonna be able to get 310, 320 for those trunkets. So I'll give you 310. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 not to <laughs> Explain the viewers something, because they're gonna watch this video and they're gonna see that that I would be willing to sell X, Y, or Z that some a shoe they may be interested in at a certain number. But I think what's important is is that in in order for me to facilitate somebody wanting a shoe, getting their address, getting payment, shipping it, all that stuff, they would have to pay more than the number I'm saying because the numbers I'm saying are something that I'll be able to put something in a in an app, it, it'll happen and it'll just process through. There'll be no extra time and energy put in. Sometimes I, sometimes I think resellers, including ourselves, don't do a very good job of how much time it takes us to process certain things. Mm -hmm and we don't charge potentially enough for us to handle that communication and that back and forth. Buyers sometimes think like th they, that time is of no value of, of people back and forth. You know what I mean? Oh, it's time, it's so time consuming. The convenience of a buyer being able to sit on a thing and say, hey, I, I want this shoe, how much? Let's say it's 250, oh, that's too much. StockX has it at, 235. Well, it doesn't have it at 235. You can bid for it at 235, but then you're going to pay tax, title, light, you know, license. Fees. <laughs> wait, like, yeah. You're going to, awesome. we had somebody come in the store the other day and like, hey, do you guys price match at, you know, for, in comparison to StockX? Because for you to be able to walk in the shoe, get your size right away, and be able to walk out with it right then and there, rather than having to put in a bid, because even if it's 250 on StockX, you're still paying close to three after fees and everything. Not only that, but then you're waiting two weeks for it to get in. And if it doesn't pass StockX authentication or whatever, now you're back another two weeks because you have to re go reorder that same pair. Um, and if the price goes up, then- Two weeks is generous. Well, it's simple It's, it's, it's simple time too. If you value your time and you say, you know what, I'm gonna value my time at, you know, $50 an hour. Well, Johnson, that's crazy. You know, right. I don't even make $50 an hour. Okay, well, pick a number. Okay. Say it's $40 an hour. Yeah. If you spend 30 minutes going back and forth with somebody, and then you spend another 30 minutes finding the shoe, packing it up, driving it sure. by, dropping it off UPS, you just spend an hour on a transaction. Right. Well, that's $40. You better have built in $40 into that transaction, and guess what? Probably you, haven't. You, you didn't. So I, I think as buyers, we need to do a better job of being respectful of what the sellers are doing for us, what you guys are doing by having stuff in inventory available that I can just walk in your store and buy it, or somebody who's just selling on IG, and that's kind of even said like that, like, oh, they're just selling on IG. Well, that there's time and energy taken in that. You have to post the shoes. You have to do all that stuff. Well, yeah, you can go press a button on StockX or Goat or some of these apps, but my experience, you wait two weeks, and then it might not even go through because of the authentication, sure. which is a protection and it's a good thing. For me, I I sell for less to to Brandon than, than I than I would other places. Why? Well, Brandon can either come, you know, he comes down here, and we carry out thirty pairs. Well, to me, it's it's the same process. I spend an hour hour with Brandon selling him thirty pairs. Well, I can break that down and that gets to be like a dollar a shoe. Well, of course I can sell it for 10 or 15 less a shoe. No different than if I just walk into the store and sell you 10 pairs, I, I get cash right there. Theoretically, you would get cash right there. I actually, I have a you owe me money. Seriously, the guy wires me money. Why am I sitting? The guy <laughs> wires me money and then I get dinged with 15 Dollar Listen, wire. That's between yeah, you and Wells wire. Fargo, and I told you Wells Fargo's trash, so. <laughs> it's any wire. Not if you are a preferred Chase business client. <laughs> like myself. Yeah, like myself. Really? Stuff on here, man. Like stuff that's gonna be an issue? He's just trying to get the price, so. Well, no, I mean, he sees the sky. Yeah, it is there. Yeah. I don't really care about these. What do you wanna I, I, I you don't wanna really try want to make them, money? to be honest. You don't? I mean, it's, it's, it's a great price, sure. But 520? That's not a great enough price. Yeah. Going off one more thing he said though, what? there is a buyer's premium too though, because 
if you're selling all these pairs at once and you have a bunch of extra stock and it's, let's just say it's pairs that you are not able to get rid of too, there's always so, hey, I have cash right now. You know, you're not, I think there's, I think we forget too, like as sellers, it's so much easier selling to people we already know we've already done business with because we know that transactions are gonna be safe. You go on a platform like eBay, um, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, okay. something like that, Mercari, to where, you know, you have the, uh, the buyer has an opportunity of charging back on your transaction and then also having to deal with that you know, as a seller, that's a, that's a pain in the butt too. And I agree because I think all we're talking about guys is, is don't just take your position and then just try to throw this on the buyer, the seller, whatever the opposite of you are to try to get your angle. All we're saying is just take a look at what it is you're trying to accomplish and understand that time is money and translate that also to a buyer or seller, the person on the other side. When you can show that you care about or you know what the other person's going through, right. you have a lot better chance of negotiating and come to an agreement. It's, it's all about good negotiation. Mm -hmm. Know as much as what's going on in the other side as you do your own. And I agree, as you're buying, it's hard, as you know, buying. It's hard to buy one, two pairs. It's a lot of time. So sometimes th it's the reason that you come down here and will buy right. 30 to 40 pairs. You may pay a little more, but there's a convenience to you of like, oh my gosh, it's just, I just bought 40 <laughs> pairs and it took me an hour. Right, and even though I paid five, 10, $15 extra a pair, it is still worth it because now I don't have to individually go try and go find those pairs and negotiate that 30 minute deal with. Correct, so you might have overpaid pair. on the 40 pairs, right. let's say $250. But you also save the time. But it's the time and can you go make that $250 somewhere right. else? Right. That, that's what we're talking about. Right. And I don't think it just has to be about shoes. <laughs> no, it's with anything. It should be about your job, it should be about what you do around your house in everything. Yeah, because you got you hire somebody to come, you know, paint your house or something. You know, you're gonna have the guy who does it quick and does a crappy job, or you're gonna pay the premium for it to be done well and correctly the first time, so you never have to worry about it again. I, I don't care if you got money or you don't have money. If you got money, you probably got money because you have the ability to process through time as money and how to manage your time right. well. Right. I mean, you don't get money just because you fall on it. I mean, you can give me the, you know, comment on a couple examples though that but that's one out of a lot unless in our case where you're broke but you still hire the cleaners to come clean the house because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not going to clean it right i mean that's what it well, comes yeah. down to i don't think i want to sell you those. don't want to sell those no they're my orange labels i got the white the black yeah those are stained. yeah carter carter made a mistake <sighs> he's gonna love watching this video yeah oh those. you don't want to get rid of those <sighs> I don't. Those are Chicago Bears vibes, man. Even the bears yeah, but they're not your size. So yeah. I, it, I'd squeeze. I don't suck. Crawfishes. You hate these. What are you thinking? A loco for dinner. I'll think about it, bro. It's not what I was thinking about right now. <laughs> oh, it's what Drew just thought about. You don't, you don't like the toe box on these, huh? Whoa. 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 I'm going to be excited if I can get $600 uh, for these. Not for me or not. Yeah, these will shut up. That's crazy. I know. I think I thought this was like a sub. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get 600 for those. That'd be that'd be fun. Ray gun. I kind of like those, but that silver toe box. You hate that toe box. I hate it. The white ones are not Rainier, gonna go anywhere. So but the black size. ones. We don't have size 11. We Ray don't have gun. big sizes. We don't. And our small sizes moved. I bet you this. I bet you this will sell. Look at this. What are you trying to do? Huh? Trying to pull was that a, a like a little, a little flare out of it? What am I trying to do? Yeah, purposely. <laughs> I spent so much time trying to finagle my good friend. Uh, three, three twenty. He's shaking his head. You, you cannot. You will not be able to buy a pair for three twenty. This is your chance to buy the pair for three twenty. So yeah, they have to move for yeah. four hundred. Yeah. Yep. He hates letting you win. I feel like. I hate us. Yeah. Because when we agree on a quick price really quick, he gets super excited yeah, and he's right. surprised. He surprises himself. But that goes back to, gotta give him a little a couple wins. Gotta give him a couple wins. This is negotiating. This is negotiating 201. Johnson! Yes, sir. You're getting rid of them? No. No, no. These, these were up in the up in the closet. I, I say, brought them down. No, the glitter. Oh, these were so Ooh, nice. I brought the I brought the Jordan 1 Low Unions to wear in Boston. The customs. Yeah, I've been wearing I've been wearing the customs lately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm digging it. We'll Let me see. Your custom collection. Mm. How do you feel about the twos? 
Okay, uh, the blacks I'm not interested in at all, but I have, I, I have to be honest, this morning I was looking at the white ones mm. and I was thinking about the buy point. Sure. Like when I needed to buy my pair. So do you does that mummies? answer your question? Yeah. Do you have yeah. mummies coming yet? No, because I'm doing the same thing. I'm letting the Halloween excitement wear off of the mummies. Hoping, I don't think it's going to. Hoping that I can get a pair for like 400 bucks. You don't gonna, think so? I don't think so. I think they're kind of weird. Hey, let me know in the comments when you think I should pull the trigger on the mummies. No, you gotta let me know when you're gonna do the twos because I really want the twos. I want to bring twos back. And they're pretty fire. Oh yeah, you drew single-handedly yeah. hitting back toward the Yeah. Place. The two low, <laughs> there's a UNC two low that, like I don't think twos have to come back for those to be good. Oh. Like it's a UNC uh, two low. Yeah. Have, you know, yeah, you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. Pretty All right, well, let's close this like, thing out, boys. It's been a long video. This has been, maybe we can edit it down some. Oh, very small. Somebody commented to me that I might not have these. Try Good friend of mine, yeah. little, you know, Those we, we got them now. Oh, they are pretty nuts, huh? Was it me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember I that. I need you to yeah. bust those out. Yeah, I'm taking these home. <laughs> I want you to wear these. How many likes on this YouTube video for you to wear these at a heated sole? Wear them at heated sole. It wins heated sole? December 4th, so you got a sole. Are you coming minutes. to Kobe's? The people want to know. I don't know. When is Kobe's? The week after he sold. December 11th? 11th. 11th. Or 13th, something like that. 12th. You know, December, December's tough with holiday Christmas parties. And so I don't, I don't know if we have a company Christmas party, so I can't, it's I can't commit. So crazy. But what would we need? Like 10,000 likes, Drew, to... I'm getting, getting a tattoo of 20,000 likes, so I mean... It's up to if you really want to wear these. Ten's a good number. Getting a tattoo, <laughs> I, wearing a pair of shoes. If I want to wear them, I. You don't have to. I was just asking. Oh, suggesting. <laughs> anything else you'd like to tell the the YouTubers or or anything else you'd like to sell? I'll sell anything in this room. Uh -huh. Picked up a few more things from Johnson. Size ten, neutral gray, and then a few pairs of the unreleased. Uh, Chicago 75th anniversary dunks as well, um, which we still have to pick a giveaway winner for that. Probably in the next video, we'll do that. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. That was fun. If you guys want more videos like this where we talk it up with Johnson, lowballing, attempt to at least, and then he gives us a long spiel of why he does not want to be lowballed, um, let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to drop a like, really helps the channel, gets the channel views um, from more people across the world, which is what we want. Um, our <laughs> schedule, I, I do want to say this, if you guys are interested in, if you guys have a sneaker event or want us at a sneaker event, um, reach out to those people. Our, our, we're trying to get our schedule planned ahead here for 2022. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing, but we are open for basically the whole 2022. Um, so if you guys have any events coming up or anything like that, feel free to reach out to us via email or shoot us a message on Instagram. Anyways, thanks for tuning in this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Again, thanks for Johnson letting us come to this. You got it.